Jessica Simpson is one of those superstars who can't seem to keep her private life out of the spotlight. No doubt, she's had a long and successful career as a singer, actress, and businesswoman, showing how far she's come since her days as an adolescent music sensation in the 1990s. But let's head to the dramatic part, find out what her exes, real and rumored, have to say about her. First up, Nick Lachey was smitten, but confessed to marital issues. Nick Lachey appears to have confessed that when he met his now ex-wife Jessica Simpson in 1998, he was instantly charmed. They had a manager in common who introduced them during the Hollywood Christmas Parade. They must have clicked since Lachey told People, I found myself looking through the crowds for her all night. When Lachey heard Simpson's voice, he immediately knew she was the one. He told CBS News that he felt shivers the first time he heard her sing. He told his friends that he planned to marry her one day. And well, he did, but they weren't meant to be. After three years of dating, Lachey married Simpson in 2002. The couple had not lived together before marriage, and the I Do artist wasn't shy about admitting that living together was difficult. He elaborated that Jessica is used to having everything handled for her. He said she'll remove her shoes in the living room and leave them there until he had to put them away. That dynamic appears to have caused issues for the former marriage, with Lachey admitting that he ultimately had to sit her down and explain that he's not her mother. Lachey wasn't the only one who was frank about his marital problems, as he wasn't a fan of how active her father, Joe Simpson, was in their relationship, and called it weird. Up next, John Mayer called Jessica a sexual napalm. One of Simpson's more renowned ex-boyfriends was singer John Mayer. After Simpson's divorce from Lachey, the two dated on and off for many years. Not only did their affair make headlines because the irresistible singer became brunette and ditched her iconic blonde locks when she was with Mayer, but also because of what he said about her a couple of years later in 2010. The Last Train Home artist compared Jessica to cocaine. He told Playboy that they had a great sex life, and Jessica reminded him of sexual napalm. Like that wasn't enough, he said that Simpson was the kind of girl that made him want to give up everything for the entirety of his life. He said he felt like selling everything he owned to make ends meet. Simpson was aware that John was obsessed with her, but she stated in her memoir, Open Book, according to US Weekly, that his Playboy interview revealed that he was dating her for the wrong reasons. She said he used derogatory language to refer to her. That was her last straw. The singer said she was done with him in ways she never imagined. Despite Mayer's apology, Apology, he still had no interest in reading her memoir. Following up, Tony Romo said Jessica was a supportive partner. Between 2007 and 2009, Jessica dated retired Dallas Cowboys quarterback Tony Romo. Even before they met, he had a huge crush on Simpson, which could be credited with sparking their affair. Tony professed his affection for her during a football game broadcast. Simpson later revealed to Glamour that she was watching the match then, adding that her family had heard it too. She then saw his photo and thought he was extremely cute. The artist was excited to hear that she was his crush. However, the two received a lot of criticism for their relationship after Romo allegedly began to play poorly. Some football fans even accused Simpson of being a jinx. In contrast, Romo had his ex's back, telling the magazine that he appreciated her support by attending his games. He said she's a supportive and wonderful girlfriend and that it's difficult to lose since sports are so important. He stated that it was great to have someone to come back home to and want to help him feel better. He added how she made that simpler for him. The couple had something in common. They were used to getting trolled, although Tony soon dumped her after hearing rumors of a romance with John Mayer. Not to mention, Dane Cook threw shade at Jessica in a game show. Jessica was only alleged to have dated comic Dane Cook in 2006 when the two were filming Employee of the Month. A witness told Life and Style that they seemed like two people trying not to appear like they were in a relationship, but who genuinely wanted to tear each other's clothes off. While they never admitted to a romance, US Weekly believed enough about them to ask Cook regarding Simpson years down the line in 2010. The comedian called her a close friend and said he was quite happy for her. Cook stated when asked about her engagement to her now husband, Eric Johnson, if they dated, he suggested that they ended on good terms. He added that she's an amazing person and sent out well wishes to Special J. Although 
although the praises soon faded, and Dane came out as more of a bitter ex while discussing Simpson on Watch What Happens Live in 2014. When host Andy Cohen questioned him about the stupidest thing he heard Jessica say on set, he replied, she said one day, are we creating a movie? While Cohen asked the question in their game, plead the fifth, Cook could have shielded Simpson by squirting cheese into his mouth rather than answering. Nonetheless, he appeared to have no difficulty putting her under the bus. Now, Johnny Knoxville never admitted to dating Jessica. While Jessica and Johnny Knoxville never formally dated, the fashion icon acknowledged in her biography, Open Book, that the two of them had an emotional affair while shooting Dukes of Hazard in 2005. She said she could communicate her deepest real thoughts with him. Simpson was still living with Lachey, and Knoxville was married to Melanie Lynn Clapp. Jessica clarified that since they were both married, nothing physical would happen, but in her opinion, an emotional relationship was more serious than a physical affair, Simpson admitted. Knoxville seemed smitten with Simpson at the time, telling Extra that she looked terrific on screen and fantastic in all those Daisy Dukes. He did, however, deny reports that the pair were more than simply co-stars. The star said he had a daughter and a wife, and Jessica even has a spouse, which impacts the families involved. He generally said these kinds of rumors are funny, but it's not funny this time. The whispers of their romance were so widespread that Howard Stern gave Knoxville a lie detector exam on his show to find out if he'd ever had sex with Simpson. He said no, which was true. Yet, Knoxville and Simpson later divorced both of their spouses. Let's look at Billy Corgan said he he liked spending time with Simpson. Since they were associated in 2009, Smashing Pumpkins vocalist Billy Corgan has been another of Jessica's supposed loves. A source close to Simpson told E! that the singer was falling hard and charmed by the vocalist after they were seen hanging out. Corgan addressed the rumors surrounding their alleged affair in 2010, claiming that the attention the story had received did not affect his life. While he didn't necessarily put an end to the myth, he said that when you're in a cartoon, it has absolutely nothing to do with what's truly happening or how you're feeling. However, the rock star refused to declare that they were simply friends, explaining that sometimes people enjoy being around each other and wonderful things come out of it. He added that his purpose in life is to love anybody he thinks is worth loving. Corgan went on to sweet talk about Jessica and said if others knew her as he did, it would be hard not to fall in love. If there wasn't enough proof that Corgan was captivated, he also criticized John Mayer for telling Playboy about his and Simpson's sex life. He stated that there are certain things you should keep your mouth shut on. However, it's unclear whether Corgan and Simpson ever dated because she told MTV that she and Billy were great friends. Lastly, Jeremy Renner denied dating Jessica. The Hurt Locker star Jeremy Renner denied any romance with the irresistible performer. People reported in 2010 that the couple was dating after they swapped phone numbers at a Hollywood dinner party. According to a source at the time, Jeremy spent the whole night flirting with Jessica. They were flirting like crazy, the source said. On the other hand, Renner was certainly not happy with those reports, telling US Weekly that he didn't hit on Jessica and that they simply talked for three minutes. He explained that Simpson's hairstylist did his mom's hair, so that's what they were discussing. He said it was absurd to hear rumors of them dating. While that may have been genuine, US Weekly claimed weeks later that Renner and Simpson were photographed in the the dead of night in a Washington DC hotel before a usually chatty Simpson dodged questions about Renner at an event. That's a wrap for this video. What do you make of Jessica Simpson's past relationships? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you at the next one.